Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Friday, which means it is time for another Nas Watches Doro Hedoro. So we are done with this now. We, this is the final episode. Uh, wondering if there's going to be a second season, but it's Netflix, so fucking probably. Netflix is going to run everything into the ground. Yay. When Beastars Season 2, Netflix, you fucks. Uh, when? Um, but in the last episode of Doro Hidoro, we had some stuff going on. We had, uh, well, the meat pie competition. Uh, Nikaido hanging out with N, you know, and getting a little bit of a, his backstory going on. Uh, but, you know, Kaiman had to deal with the fact that Nikaido is a sorcerer. And all around, even though we're getting towards the end of the main plot, they still find in plenty of time to have dumb bullshit side stuff happening. So hey, that's just, that's just, there's just some good shit right there. But uh, I imagine that this episode, this episode is probably going to wrap up a lot of stuff. We're going to get, uh, very least, Nikaido and Kaiman getting back together, hopefully. I'm hoping they don't just leave it on a cliffhanger, because like, I make the joke, oh, I definitely go give everything it's easy to... Sometimes they don't, and that's the scary part. But and I'm like, and I, I really do feel like this is one of those shows where Netflix might just be like, "Oh, this is not mainstream enough for us. Mm. Bring us more, bring us more sexy animal people. We gotta get that mainstream shit in here." <laughs> but let's get going and see how we do, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Fucking. Brand new animal and Beastars is gonna get a second season before this does, I bet. The school lunches? You son of a bitch, those goddamn children are gonna starve now. Oh, hey, is this a flashback? Can't believe it's flashback time. Oh, oh, where is it not flashback? It's hard to tell with Risu, seeing as he looks the exact same as he's always done. What the fuck? I mean, he has cross eyes now, though, so dude, like, I don't know, man. Like, he's already got- he's already got the fucking tattoos, it's... You know, it's not like he could do much else. Like, that bag was, uh, was leaking a lot of blood. I'm not sure if, uh... Hmm. So, so, is, so is this just gonna wind up being the history of like how Kaiman got alligator headed? Is that is that gonna be the big twist? Here's your big dumb flashback. Kind of weird how that's the final episode you go. Like, I mean, I'm expecting Aikawa to just be Kaiman, because you know gas mask motif, and we haven't seen Aikawa's face. But like, kind of, I don't know. I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't have put a flashback as the final episode of a se of a fucking season. I don't know. But uh, hey, since what since when is Doro Hodoro ever played by the fucking rules of narrative structure? Also, what happened to that fucking dog? I mean, like you know, like N N decided that the dog is no longer his waifu, so. Like what? What you know? Like what? What's what's it up to? You got it like a nice little little doggy bed in the, in the mansion, or did he wind up turning it to fucking mushrooms again? Yeah, this this opening, I feel like it's got quite. I think I feel like it's either got symbolism or drugs in it. One of the two. Boy meets girl, battle! Okay, good. So the whole episode isn't gonna be a flashback. I was scared for a moment there. I was afraid that we wouldn't get any fucking finishing of things until the fucking next season. That should be- that should be actually piss me off. The strongest relationships are built on an ass kicking. She just fucking sp aerial spinning bird kicked his ass. Jesus, dude. Dude, her titties look like they about to just flop on out, dude. Like, she, she's using some fucking fashion tape and a half in there, man. No, his boobs! Now he's flat-chested. Okay, for a second there, I thought that punch was going somewhere else. Nobody makes me bleed in my own blood. Nobody! Didn't think I would see, like, actual unironic Hail Satan when I started watching this show, but there it is. Christ on a bike. Ooh! That, that looks rough there, my dude. Jesus. Will friendship win the day? Who knows? I really want to see her actually use her time magic. Like, we've got all this build of, like, oh yeah, Nikaido could do time! But, like, we haven't seen her use her magic once. We've just seen her be kicking people's asses. What the f- Okay, I just saw a brain with a tiny devil being pulled out. So, sorcerers aren't actually people, right? They, they're they actually the, the tiny devil in their brain piloting their body, right? That's That was the thing, that was a lore they set up? So, so that was a sorcerer's brain having its devil removed, which doesn't make a ton of uh, mm, symbolism.
So, like, so it's basically said that Kaiman is eye color, right? Because he's getting headaches and shit like that. Let's see him move without a spinal cord, bitch! I can't be I can't believe Satan can't believe Satan's like nah chief. Nah chief, this one this one gets to stay. So that's so that's all that needed to happen? You just needed to get fucking filleted? Just fillet the bitch open and pull the contract out? That's all that had to happen? So where did Kaiman go then? There's the doggo. Yeah, because N has to sign it. How does this guy not know how his own fucking biology works? What if someone tore up the contract, though? So just cover your eyes and go back home. Go back to hole and fuck off. Collapse in the middle of the street. Oh no, it's nothing. Just felt a bit dizzy. It's good, chief. So clearly there's some asshole living in the church's basement. All right, gamer. She could tell because it was human-shaped. Okay, so his blood's got green shit on it. Man, Kaiman's dreams are on some shit. Holy fuck. So Kaiman's not even his real name, is it? Like... Aw, oh, short hair Nikaido's cute. Oh, so Nikaido named him. So 
So we kind of kind of named him. That's that's cute. Wait, I've never, I have never heard of a lizard called Kaiman. Oh. Kaiman. Apparently it's, apparently it's a lizard that's from Brazil that is apparently all over Florida, and yet I've never seen one. Damn, all right, the racism comes right on in. Holy shit. Fucking... Like, like, Jesus Christ, Kyra. Like, yeah, it's, she's a sorcerer, but she's still the girl that you've been friends with, like, as long as you remember, literally. You ain't getting no bank. <laughs> Ends very possessive. I mean... I mean, it's not like the professor can't just come back whenever the fuck he wants. He has a door. Well, I mean, hey, celestial beings, right? Oh, fuck. I don't like N's cutesy voice. I don't like it. I don't, no. No, no, no. I don't, I do not like that at all. Like, just, no. Like, I understand, like, he trying to sound cute, but, like, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it, chief. Ah, friendship. Friendship based on fucking kidnapping and murder. So I thought if she looked at him, she would get all oh, fucky wucky, or is this a fake? Like, it's. Oh, it's the Birdman shape shifted into her, isn't it? Or is it the demon? It's the Birdman. It's the Birdman. Damn! Man got a booty like pal! <laughs> Damn, can't, can't believe it. I wonder if he did the whole thing, you know, just in case N wants to do a full inspection. Uh, mm, 
Mm, I don't like that face. Ch Chota is already fucking, like, weird enough. Him, like, his expressions on Nikaido's body fucking... Ah, uh, uh, is bad enough because he's, like, you only see his mouth most of the time, but full face. Oh, no. Maybe it was a hallucination. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's probably, he's probably Aikawa, right? Pinky promise. So I get the feeling we're gonna end on a season cliffhanger, right? Here's hoping season two has already been confirmed, but I think Netflix does these things in season packages, so... Who knows? God, that was like the one good thing about when I worked for Netflix. I almost always knew when something was gonna get a season two, like... Months ahead of time. God, made planning shit out real easy. Even if the hours were terrible. Hmm. Yeah, biggest her fucking sorcerer dick is so fucking big. Like I wanna see her fucking ability get used, dude. I wanna I wanna know. What do you, do you turn him into a baby or something? Like So even when she was brainwashed, she never used it. But, like, she must really hate her own powers. It's because she is friend, you fucking bitch. Oh, that's actually that's actually kind of sweet. She just want friendship. I can't believe they are the best of friends and nothing else. Nothing lewd is happening here at all. When in doubt, pinky out. And imagine if Kaiman gets his memories back and he's an insufferable piece of shit and she regrets this instantly. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I guess Big Boss had to do something, right? Big Boss had to do something after Mother Base blew up, right? Start of just... So that's it. That's where the season ends. Man, they better be having a second season coming out, dude. Fucking Christ. Did, 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 did the professor steal N's van? Like, what happened to your going home tomorrow? Jesus. Fuck it. Who are these at? I mean, I know they're cross-eyes, but who the hell are those assholes? Look at those fucking anime protagonists. Best of friends. Because what friendship isn't based on fucking attempted homicide, am I right, gamers? Hi, Risu. How you doing?
Yeah, the season two though. Okay, that's mm -hmm. <laughs> you. I was expecting like a hey yo season two. Let's you know what? Let's Google it. Hang on, because there has to be news, right? Doro Hedoro anime season two? Question mark. <sighs> Pending. Oh boy. Oh no. Hmm, okay. Okay. So apparently, uh the 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 director and net the director is like he's not gonna green light a season two unless there is shown to be significant desire for it. Which means that there will never be a season two. Usually, that's what that means. Unless, like, you've got, like, like ridiculous, like, million-person fucking petition level. Oh, Jesus Christ, my dude. Uh, so yeah, so that's where Dora Hodoro ends. Fuck. Uh, okay. So I guess it's. I guess my 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 like final thoughts depend on some stuff. Then, if the season two does get like uh called and greenlit, then this is a very good show. I like it a lot, and every episode has been more or less like like I said, like I've said before, like the, the show is like really non-standard. You know, like it's like. It treats its main plot as a subplot and all of the slice of lifey like each like each episode's self-contained plot is treated as more important than the overarching plot, which is something that a lot of shows they do the opposite of that, and that's kind of the standard. Um I would hate it if every show did that, did this, uh, did what Dora Hodora does, because it would get old really fast. But the occasional show like Dora Hodoro coming out and doing it, like it's it's great. It's a, it's a it's a breath of fresh breath of fresh air, and it is like really really good and just it's it's fun. It's unique, and seeing as the main plot isn't really all that well defined, it works really well for it. Like basically the whole Kaiman finding out the mystery of his head and also rescuing rescuing Nikaido from N's bullshit. It's not really all that interesting. Like, really, it's it's very, very bog-standard, like, oh, mysterious past. Friendship character kidnapped. Ooh, the Sasuke retrieval arc. Ooh. They're not really all that interesting, like, things. Like, a billion anime have done them in billions of different ways. Like, there's no real way to make that unique. But the way they found to make it unique was to make it kind of ancillary to the shit that was happening in the background. And that is much better. Because it leads to a lot more characterization of everyone involved. Like, even the fucking pie shop people have more fucking characterization than a lot of characters, a lot of main characters in other anime. Like, if you ask me to, like, fucking lay down the fucking personalities of just about every single, like, semi-prominent character in Doro Hodoro, like, I, I could give you the full thing, because they are very, very well explored as characters. Like, even the baseball episode, like, is pretty good. It allows us to explore, uh, Fujita, uh, Fujita, Ebisu, Nikaido and Kaiman, Professor, fucking, even Johnson, you know? Like, like, as opposed to, say, Brand New Animal, which I know I didn't do a series on. I watched it with Sai, because she wanted to watch it. And that show is really good, by the way. Brand New Animal, fucking great. Michiru is great. But definitely don't think it would be a super great uh, thing to, to let's watch, by the way. For it was like, oh, watch it again with the let's watch. No, that show is just furry bait. But it's very, very good furry bait. Um, but the baseball episode in Brand New Animal, for example, get back on topic... Uh, does absolutely fucking nothing for the plot. It introduces the it, it, one new character that shows up every now and again uh, when he fall like as he falls for Nazuna's cult, and that is literally his only other interaction with the with the plot. And he shows up in the final episodes as all of Michiru's friends show up to help her fucking do the do the plot thing. Um, 
other than that, like, that episode is only there because the creator likes baseball and wanted to have a baseball episode. Completely diverges from the, from the fucking plot and does nothing. But in Doro Hidoro, you can have it, and because, di- like, there is no plot to diverge from, you could just slap it in anywhere and it could literally happen whenever the fuck you want. It means nothing. But because everything means nothing, it means something. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like one of those backwards things. It's... Ah, it's good. It's good. Uh, this episode as a whole, I did really like. Um, the fight between Kaiman and Nikaido is short but sweet. I, you know, I think it served its purpose without going too overblown. Um, and it does show that, like, Kaiman really just does not want to hurt Nikaido at all. Even if it's for her benefit, he's like, nah, chief, I I don't want to do nah, fuck that. Um and just and I I'm kinda wonder whether like brainwashed Nikaido, like how much of what she was saying was her own thoughts and how much of it was stuff she was compelled to think by N. Like because like even then she wasn't using her magic and she said that like the reason she doesn't use her magic is because she personally doesn't like it. So what is, what is, you know, what, what level of what she was saying under mind control was actually her? I don't know. It's probably something that I shouldn't think too deep about because it's fucking Doro Hidoro, but there you go. Um, yeah, fighting was good. Uh, the, the, the setup of fake, uh, fake Nikaido, like, breaking, like, like ruining N's perception of Nikaido. Would be, at first it shows how much that, like, Shumo really does not understand N. N does not want Nikaido as his partner because he likes her. He wants her because she got big dick power. N does not give a fuck about anyone. If anything, I'd say the N is probably like... Like, he's got big asexual energy. He does not give a fuck. He does not care about how you look. does not care about what gender you are. doesn't care what sex you are. No. What's your power? Is your power good? Your power is good. You're my partner now. Fuck you. Get in the ma- get in the marriage cottage, motherfucker. We're going, like you know, and I I think Chumo uh, doesn't really understand that because his power is shit. But actually, I don't even remember what his fucking power is. He makes like he makes uh, doubles of people. I think I I don't know. Um, I don't remember what his power is. <laughs> Probably not important. Um, yeah, all around all around good show. Uh, I definitely, like, it's it's weird method of storytelling is novel. Good. Very good. Like, a, like a, if, if a season two gets made and some of this stuff gets wrapped up, i say this is easily, like, a fucking, like, fucking 10 out of 10 fucking, like, good shit. Uh, if not, and this is where it ends, uh, fuck you, 8 out of 10. Because, like, nothing got solved. We are, like... Barely any further along in the plot than we were in episode one, you know, and like, and this is a plot that you could solve in one episode if you if you wanted, and I don't think anyone would mind because, you know, like it's, it's it like it it would take nothing. It would like you've got so much shit happening. There's like ancillary, like ah, have fun, ha 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 ha, and it's you know it's got the veneer of being pushing towards that objective, but it really doesn't. So, because of that veneer, you could literally just have an episode where it's like, Oh, hey, yo, what's up? And, oh, hey, fucking Steve, how you doing, Steve? How you that lizard head treating you? You know, like... That's literally a thing that could happen, and I'd be fine with it. Like, for the fact that we got, like, zero progress, essentially. Like, I know, like, we got the person like, Oh, hey, the guy in your mouth is Risu. Did Risu did it? But the thing is, we kind of figured that out, like... Like, ages ago. It's not re- no real... Like, it's no real, like, uh, like, revelation, because, like, we don't know anything about Risu, and when they first found the head, it's like, oh, hey, that's the guy in your mouth. Neat. But we don't know anything about him. We know he's a cross eye, and we know that somebody cut his head off. Like, the mystery has not changed, it's just now we have a name to put to the face. You know what I mean? There's no, not any real progress. But, but hey, still, if season two gets announced, then fucking den out of den, fucking go shit, go going. But if this is where it ends, then like, honestly, nothing really happened. 
no progress was made, but it was still enjoyable. So yeah, I'd be I'd be like yeah, an eight out of ten, eight point five at most. Good show. Hope it gets a second season. Looking forward to it. Please give it a second season, for fuck's sake. You can't just leave it like that and like just go. No, oh, I'll give you a second season if there's d demand. Do 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 do. Fuck off. Like <laughs> ah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, whatever. Let me let me know what you thought of this down there in the comments, what you thought of this series. Whether you liked it, you disliked it, or you want to bring up something I left out, because that's, that's the thing that could happen. So much fucking shit happened in this series, it's hard to, like, kind of gestalt my, guess, like, my thoughts down, but there you go. Um, yeah, as always, I am Nozovix. Remember to like, comment, fair, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends, hit that share button down below. If you want, share on the Facebook, the Twitter, the fucking whatever. Your WordPress <laughs> blog, I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> does WordPress even still exist? I mean, um, and if you want, uh, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked down in the description and on the end card. If you do support me on Patreon, you'd be helping me out a whole lot, especially in these, in these Ubu times. The Ubu, oh no, the Ubu virus is coming for you, Ubu. Um, yeah, like, that, that Patreon's basically like a fucking godsend in these times, so thank you guys big, big much. Uh, and the links to that are down in the description and on the end card, long list of all the people who do keep the show up and running. Uh, there's some other benefits on that, but those are listed on the Patreon page, so I'm not gonna get into it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. But most of all, you've all become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a real day.